spaghetti and cornbread is on the menu. Right, let's begin. Back in business, y'all know I like to mix mine good. Paprika. Over it, over the nose. I'm gonna go to Ray today. So, my favorite stuff like this shit. I doubt it, I will do it. I hope it's not cool. I like an orchid down in my bunny. Okay, have it like that. That's how it is. Put a little sock in so you go faster. Unless you're doing two. I'm just doing one.
dig. A little bit of water. Hold on. And then you mix it up. And then more water you need to no, you don't have that too. You gotta look like you gotta be thick. Like pancake like pancake batter. If you can't get all the little hard things out, it's okay. Remember, ground beef cook fast, so you gotta wash it. No, we do too. I don't know, I'm gonna say every five minutes. I really don't keep up with that. But every five minutes, we start getting loosening. See, it's still stuck together. You would know. Until you don't see no more pink in the ground beef. Your skillet or whatever you do, and you pour it in there. You can just fill it within your wrist that it's not done yet. I don't know. Cooking fun though. But yes, this all for right now. We losing this meat sauce. Same thing that we ain't gonna make off today though. Yeah, I'll be back. 
Yeah, you can actually. They do got little packages that say spaghetti on it. You can do it like that. Like to season your meat. Like you don't got to season it just the regular seasoning. You can go to the store because they got all type of packages like that. Like taco seasoning, you just get the spaghetti seasoning and you can put it over without losing your regular seasoning. Yeah. So we just do it this way. See? Ground beef done. No pink. Noodles done. You can tell by how it looks. This the sauce. Okay. Well, we gonna lose this instead of draining it out. I mean, you can drain it out if you want to, but I'm just gonna do it like this because I got holes in it. I can't, I can't drain the grease out of it. So, yeah. Let's begin.
Well, the sauce and we're gonna put on this even side. I'm gonna stir it one more time. Cornbread got eight minutes on it. Put on the other side and let it simmer on low. It's about a couple of minutes, okay? Let me so I don't need that long. Okay. Cornbread is on. Seven. That's how the cornbread came out. So ladies, college kids, whatever age range you is. Cornbread, you know the cornbread don't you see the brown stuff around it, okay? But also, you can stick a knife up in it. And if nothing come off on it, it's done, okay? But a little bit came off of it, but that's different though. Okay, it's done, okay? So I'm gonna cut it. You can make it into a, you can make it into spreads. You can make it into little muffins. You can make it into this. Like pizza. Oh yeah, this definitely done. I do all of them sometimes. The muffins and the Cornbread is looking to square for special occasions. If you want y'all little the little pings, you can get the little muffin thing. Okay, you can get a skillet. So yeah, everything done. Let me check on this. I ain't gotta be cute. They gonna eat any goddamn one. Be presentation, yeah. Oh, it's done. Okay, it's stuck at the bottom, okay? I don't like that. Let me show y'all. See? Voila. Right 